us to win, uh, not to put um, pressure on the ones outside watching, uh, which means uh, we go out all out and uh, get the results, try to score um, early goals and settle the game and dominate and then win. But it's not going to be easy the way I'm talking, uh, talk, <laughs> the way I'm talking but all the same, um, that is my own um, say that I want the team to start early and score and make sure that they finish up the game before uh, in the 90 minutes. I thought you watched the first match. Yeah. How would you assess and uh, analyse the first match of the It was a good game for us, um, knowing um, all the stuff that happened over there. We know it's not going to be an easy game, but uh, the boys are up for it, and they did very, very well. Now we're in Nigeria, so it's time for us also to do our own part, and I wish that every one of us have to come and support them, pray for them, and um, I know they are ready and they want to do it. And tomorrow, by God's grace, we win. questions. We'll have them two directed to Moses Simon, four directed to the coach. Please, when you introduce yourself, you will tell us the medium you represent and your name. My answer goes to uh, the first guy there. Um, of course, um, um, of course, you will see the form in tomorrow's game, because uh, it's now all about me. It's all about the team and uh, team spirit. So, of course, we know all it takes for this game. So, and, uh, we'll give everything. Uh, my second uh, answer goes to, to you. The game against Tunisia was not killed. So, if you see how it's killed, no, sorry. And uh, you talk about the game against Ghana. Of course, uh, it's that pace. Because we all know um, it's going to be difficult because we know how Ghana play. So we decided to retreat back because the point is enough for us. Because we all know where they come here, they will take it. Thank you. This Nigerian newspaper. Coach, a uh, lot of expectations for Nigeria and they saw what happened in Ghana. So, what is your message? 
uh, Nigerians, football lovers, Super Eagles supporters, uh, and they know football as well. They've been praying, cheering for the team. They should continue in that manner. And we can promise them at the end of the day, everybody will be happy at the end of that game. So they should keep, keep the support high. Fill up the stadium tomorrow and cheer Nigeria. Score goals. Because opportunity really come, you know, in a high level matches like this. So when you have a chance, you have to take it. Ghana played very well, I told you from day one. It's not a pushover, it's a theme that we respect. And the same way they respect the Nigeria team as well. And yeah, they played very well. There was no clear call chance for the Ghanaian team, but we came close to scoring. So all we need to do tomorrow, every chance we get tomorrow must count. So scoring goals is what we're trying to correct. Yes, I'm representing all Nigerian coaches, both old and young. The only thing is, with you guys as well, we want to do collectively being in Qatar. So that's, what, that's the message. Once we cross the line tomorrow, everybody will be jubilating. Okay, coach, my name is Morfet. I work with BBC. Um, in Kubasi, you were forced into making two substitutions. Uh, as it you know, said Bonke and uh, second Chukwese. Any updates as regards their fitness? That's a very interesting one. I think they are still under observation. Uh, Chukwese had his can. Um, the result hasn't come. Bonke is not participating this evening as well because he's, uh, he had a knock. A little bit overstretched as well. You know the boy worked too hard in Kumasi did so well. And our medical team is still working on them. It's 24 hours before the game. We're not going to risk anything. I'm expecting reports from the medical team. And once they get that to me by 9 p.m. tonight, and then we'll be know whether we'll be on the pitch tomorrow or not. But we have enough personnel in the team that can do the job. We have the Ghanaian coach, Otoado, and um, the captain at 7.10 p.m. Thank you.